All right, I see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Welcome to cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia cars. And you guys saw it from the thumbnail. We are finally getting wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on Hyundai Kia cars. Well, starting here in Korea with a limited cars. And I am test driving this Hyundai all new Santa Fe 2024 year model. Well, I just got the news too. So I pulled out the cam real quick to show you what it essentially is like to have that wireless Apple CarPlay. It's not a rocket science, but it's something that we've been waiting for so long long and I finally have it. I actually did end up spending an hour to get the set up and running because I had other people setting it up and up and running but it just wouldn't work on my phone but I figured out the reason why. Simply put and I know I hate it when YouTubers hide all the essential information at the end of the video or in the middle of the video and so forth so I'll give you the conclusion right now. Delete your setup on your iPhone and the car. If your phone has been connected connected with the wireless connection before, the car will somehow have that information from the iPhone. So you actually do need to go into your setting in iPhone and also go under the CarPlay tab and delete the Santa Fe over there. And then you will see the prompts and it's all really self-explanatory from that point on. Just have the wireless setting connected. The car will ask if you want the wireless connection and boom, you get, we finally get that wireless connection. Well, since I have the car right here and and I honestly have not set it up yet. I actually went through the point where it was giving me the prompt, Apple CarPlay and all. So I will show you and walk you through one by one, give you the idea of what it's like to finally set your Hyundai Kia Genesis. So let's go check it out. I really had difficulty finding it. Oh, just look at this digital center mirror that the Santa Fe has. So the trunk is open. I needed to get some lighting inside. So the trunk is all open as you can see. So this is the original rear view mirror that we would get, but the digital center mirror provides much wider view, especially under the poor weather conditions. And during the nighttime, I am including the footage right now. Just absolutely love it. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I mean, it's not going to make any difference. Right here, you wanna to go to phone projection and it says, you see, Ed, have the Wi-Fi on just in case. Bluetooth settings, Santa Fe right here. So pair and it's asking me about the contact, allow it. And then it's being connected. And you see now here it says use Apple CarPlay, CarPlay with Santa Fe, right? And of course, that's what we want. CarPlay automatically connect, blah, blah, blah. This prompt you won't see if you have wired connected your phone before. Say goodbye to this cable. I've been using it all here, you see. Uh, for your information, connect the wire here, press on that button for the wired Apple CarPlay connection and press it one more just for the charging only. And also for your information, Santa Fe has two wireless charging pads right here, but both of them, you can actually turn off the wireless charging feature if it's gonna get wet with your water bottle and all. All right, so I don't wanna lose it. Now the prompt is here, use CarPlay. And okay, this finally showed up saying that this is newly edited iPhone, supports Apple CarPlay. And do I see any wireless menu? I don't, but you see, I don't have any wire connection, so it should be wireless connection. Again, as I have told you, it's my first time also finally being able to see this prompt. So fingers crossed, let's go. Yes. All right, I see, oh, no. Oh. Uh, there we go. <laughs> no wire. Apple CarPlay up and running. Oh my God. Finally. Yes. I, I spent an hour trying to set this up and running because I saw posts, videos. They were telling me that they got the wireless Apple CarPlay finally, but I just could never ever get it to run. And that again is exactly what it was. Make sure you make 
this iPhone forget the Apple CarPlay connection history by going into that menu, make it forget. So in your settings, type in CarPlay and you will see the lists of the cars that you have used the CarPlay before. So these things remember if it was wireless or wired connection and connect it with your car, then we are good to go. Oh my God. So finally, and you will see, yes, the iPhone is now wirelessly connected. The music is up and running, no problem. Honestly, I would need to double check on the sound quality itself, but I sure do think it's better than the Bluetooth connection because I did feel the difference between the Bluetooth connection and wired Apple CarPlay, and I do not feel the difference with the wireless versus wired Apple CarPlay. Now, adding all that up together, meaning it is going to provide a better sound system, I think. And I get that enough and strong bass boosts right here on this menu alone. So I think uh, that's what it is. Oh, so you see, that's what you want to have. You have to have the Wi-Fi on in order to have the CarPlay going. So as you can see, you have all your Apple CarPlay apps stuff that you can set up right here. Just go through, toggle through, and you can have all the apps up and running. You guys know how to use the Apple CarPlay. So while you're at it, when you go to this Apple CarPlay setup on your iPhone and go to this car and go into this Customize tab, customize your apps right here, as you can see on this phone menu too. Make a good use out of that too. All right, so that is just simply it. Of course, I had to come up with this video, obviously, because finally we are getting the wireless Apple CarPlay on Santa Fe. Oh my God. So in other Hyundai cars to come as well. All right, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea. If you did, I will see you in the next video. And by the way, if you're curious about this 2024 all new Santa Fe rooftop, model right here i actually have a video on it and i am here to make a comparison video with this santa fe to that of the palisade i actually do have the comparison to size comparison video on the channel already but people have been scolding me because i did not have the latest facelifted santa fe all right so that's it for today's video if you have not checked out my review on this all new santa fe make sure you go check it out because there is a detailed review of this car in and out the interior exterior and also the pov drive comparison with sorrento the latest 2024 sorrento as well as palisade and honestly, actually, I'm here to give you a, another side-by-side -side comparison video with Hyundai Palisade. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Kudos to Hyundai Genesis Gia. We finally, finally get wireless connection in our cars. That actually is the question that I've been getting every single time I make a review on a brand new car. Is there a wireless connection, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, yada, yada, yada. I just had to say like, not yet. Finally, it's here as of 2023 November. All right, that's it. That really is it. I gotta go. Bye-bye.